This is Duke University. I personally have always found energy finance one of the most important important and interesting places to, to embark on or continue a career. It's very dynamic. You're doing something different every day. Every day you're, you're, you're adjusting to markets, you're adjust, adjusting to incredibly fast-moving technological trends that we've never seen in the past. And I've always enjoyed energy finance just as a subject matter of something that is just such a dynamic field that one never has a boring day. The market has been faced in the last two years with an unprecedented decline in energy prices in a relatively short period of time. Many projects that were, that were in, in, in the thought stage, in the idea stage, assumed that the possibility of energy prices hitting $170 a barrel, $180 a barrel for, for oil, or in the case of natural gas, a $12, have, have proven right now to be uneconomical because the biggest trend is a continued decline in energy prices, especially in the last, in, in most recently, with the removal of Iranian sanctions, uh, energy prices have fallen 10% in, in the last two weeks. That makes some of the projects that were, that were already started and that are not completed yet, right now, uneconomical. One of the most interesting uh, aspects that's, that's on energy finance is the rise of the Master Limited Partnerships. And Master Limited Partnerships, or MLPs, have been a very significant source of financing. Recently, uh, there's been a proposal to amend various portions of the law in order to allow MLPs to be used to finance real estate projects and other corporate projects, which shows that an innovation that was created in the energy field is, has general applicability across the financing sp spectrum. Energy projects have traditionally been, been very cyclical. And every time we see a cycle of either very high prices or of very low prices, it's assumed that those prices will stay the same. I've never looked at it that way. I've seen energy prices as, as high as, as uh, $160, and I've seen, I recall vividly an edition of Foreign Affairs magazine in the fall of 2001 saying that the world has got to adjust to a permanent plateau of oil prices at $10 a barrel. So it's just a very cyclical business and one not for the faint of heart. Students seeking careers in energy finance often ask me what are the most important skills that they need to have right now. And I say to them that it's the same skills that they would have needed 10 years ago, that they should have a broad knowledge of a broad area of, of, of both uh, quantitative and qualitative skills that impress employers that they are able to meet the challenges of the next 10 or 20 years, which includes understanding sustainability and the environment. It includes understanding political risk, and it includes traditional financing skills and traditional accounting skills.